the idea of discovery, you know, uh, discovery of one's path in life and discovery of the way in which love affects us differently. And to play around with the idea that, you know, uh, um, location and, and who you are, sort of things that are intertwined as you move around, experience different things, kind of determines how you get down. It's through his ambition and uh, doing, uh, just realizing uh, his struggle for love and, and uh, sense of family. Those are things that I value. She's sweet and yeah, funny and smart. And I'm quite inspired by her journey and uh, her um, ambition in the business and uh, the sort of uh, road that she's paved. Um, and I think it's inspiring um, to a lot of different people. So it's great to be around someone that's that smart and industrious. It's, it's been one of great collaboration, her allowing me to uh, have my own viewpoints and things to bring into the fold that she's created and been uh, creating for such a long time. So I'm appreciative of that. I imagine that, you know, somewhere down the line, you'll find some piece of a relationship that, you, that you've been in before that mirrors some of the things you see here. More and more, I'm, I'm happy to see that things are being created by black people that involve black people, because then you get an idea of uh, some sort of authentic authenticity to the, to the thing that it's just more authentic than it could ever be by anyone else trying to describe it. So that's exciting. And um, yeah, I hope to someday be a part of that dialogue because there's just so many stories that we have and that we could tell and that we've been telling for generations. We just started to start writing more of these movies. You know, I think we went away from um, just promoting and writing real black love stories. You know, and I think a lot of these love stories, and especially if we, you know, I don't even necessarily think they're a black love story. I think they're a love story starring black people. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's why, like, I think the photograph, when the trailer came out, the buzz was so insane because you saw that people miss seeing all these beautiful chocolate faces on screen. I love the, like, I love my character, right? He's his husband. He got a brownstone. He's actually in the house. Him and his wife is happy. And you don't see that all the time, you know, especially when it comes to a, a black successful couple. And I think, you know, people just miss seeing us on screen. And also, this is a new group, too, right? This ain't the same group you've seen in all the black love stories. You know, it's, not, it's only so many times Morris Chestnut can be 32. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Matt, that's how we are. You know, I'm the oldest. And so it's easy to play something you you already are. Like I've I've been the oldest, the older brother my whole life. So I'm the oldest. So you you know how to give out that advice, which I think is fun too when you do film sometimes and do a character that has a lot of you in that character. So it was easy for me to give that you know that brotherly advice. I do it all the time. That's what makes New Orleans a very that's a very unique city to film stuff in. I mean, you know I think. Just the way it looks, you know, New Orleans still has it. Like you think about cities that end up getting all these huge buildings and all this new stuff. New Orleans still has this feel as if it's still whenever New Orleans became New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? The houses still look the same, a lot of the place. And it's to me, that's beautiful. And to see that on film along with adding in the music, you know, it's a scene where they go to this party and you just, you could just feel the vibe of where they at, even their closeness when they're dancing with each other. Like, it's just a vibe you, I can't even describe about what, look, you see how happy I get. You know, this New Orleans, I think it's such a beautiful place to film things at. And Stella did a good job of capturing the vibe of New Orleans, you know, in this movie, in the future and in the past. It's a universal love story, and it just happens to be told through this specific lens. And Stella does an excellent job making sure that it feels authentic and organic to the Black experience. It's a love story that I think whether or not you look like the characters on screen or not, you can find an entry point. You can find an area of relatability. When you think about some of the best stories that are told, it's not just about some specific attribute 
culture, demographic, usually the best stories are universal stories that have a very specific point of view. The photograph is no exception. The thing that, that interested me about the photograph and doing it right now is the fact that we haven't had a love story like this one with actors like these, with a backdrop like this, you know, it's, uh, it's told in New York against uh, the arrival of a hurricane. Um, these are two young African-Americans that are in love. And uh, I, I, I think back to one of my favorite movies, which is uh, Love Jones, directed by Ted Witcher. And that's a, a story that, you know, I was probably around the age of, of Issa and Lakeith when I first saw that, maybe even a little younger. It stuck with me because it was such an authentic and true depiction of black love for that time period. And so I was really interested in being a part and helping Stella to tell this story of love between these black people today. When we started talking about casting, you know, in my mind, it, Issa was the perfect person because she is somebody that has vulnerability. She is someone that can show strength, but at the same time, insecurity and awkwardness. Um, she is somebody that you want to root for, and it's easy to invest in her character. But also, because you're invested in that character, it, it, it matters when they make decisions that you don't like. And that's the best kind of movie, when you're invested in a character and sometimes they let you down. And sometimes the main character does make decisions that you will look and say, why, what are you doing? But that's what Issa does well. That's her gift. The fact that you care, that's the win. I was really impressed with the way that Stella was able to, to weave together all these different characters. And it's clearly a love story between our leads, but everybody else has a very, very important and clear point of view. Certainly when we think about our couple in the past, because the movie does go between present and the past, and it's really telling two stories on a parallel track, it's important that you believe in that love story from the past. In order for you to be invested in our present day love story, you have to understand and be invested in the past and, and in the love story that Shantae and Elon lead up. And um, they're awesome. They did an excellent job. One of the other things that I love about this film is that it, it's, got, it's got a texture to it. You know, there is, there are subtleties and there's nuance in this film that is, it's almost tangible. This is the type of film that you really, you wanna cuddle up with this film. You wanna go to the movies and see it with people. You wanna see it with your loved ones. You wanna see it with someone that you hope is gonna become your loved one. It is the type of film that because it does have that great texture, it, it has like, it's almost like you can touch it and taste it and feel it. You want it, you wanna take it home with you. You wanna be a part of it and you wanna see it with people that you have that kind of warm feeling about. That is the thing that I think is really cool about any great love story, but certainly this love story, is that it, it envelops you and you welcome it in and it's got a charm, it's got a wit, it's got stakes. Uh, and it just is something that is, uh, when I saw the film, when I was able to see the final cut of the film, I was like, wow, that's, that's my movie. You know, and not just like, cause I was Will Packer, the producer, but like, as you know, as a man who like loves the idea of love, I was like, that says what I feel. You know, that movie says what I think about love and the way I feel about love and the potential of love and the hope of love. And so I hope that audiences will, will feel the same way and will say, that's mine, that's ours, that's our movie. There's so many great photos I have of my mom and my grandmother and my, my godmother when they were young. And, you know, it's one of the few times you can look, you you can look through these photos and see them as they were, you know, like before my mom had me as like a young woman. And, you know, there's something about looking at a photo of my mom at that age from that time where you realize there's this whole person you, you don't know. I don't know that woman. I don't know that like, you know, 25 year old woman who was pregnant with me, you know? And um, so I think that's, you know, where that came from kind of looking at those photos and being like, Who's, who is this woman? Like, I don't know her. You know, she was, she was around before I was around. Uh, and 
And I think that's what, you know, the photograph is about, like May getting this photo and looking at it and, and, and figuring out who the woman in that fo photograph is. I don't think it was till my late 20s that I realized my mom was a woman, you know, who'd had a relationship with my father, a romantic relationship um, that didn't end well. And like that sh she'd gone through the same things as me, you know, and that, um, and and it, it just didn't dawn on me till a certain age. And you, and you start to, I don't know, give them a break. I think my mom said that once to me, like, give me a break. Like, you know, you, you, you saw what my marriage was, you know, and, and that was the first time I really empathized like, oh, wow. Like, you know, she, she has had imperfect situations and that has affected her and has affected our relationship. For May and her mother, Christina, their relationship is estranged, you know, to, to a degree. Um, her, you know, and it's strange because it's estranged, but they're, they're close. It's a strange thing that can be between daughters where, uh, between mothers and daughters where you can have a terrible relationship but talk every single day. Um, and, and there's a lot that, as much as she saw her mother a lot and talked to her, there's just a lot about her past that her mother chose not to tell her um, out, of, out of pride or out of like an inability to communicate feelings. And, um, you know, she really couldn't bring herself to, to tell her about her past until she was essentially dying. Uh, and, you know, I, that was something that like I could relate to in the sense that, you know, you don't always share your most intimate things with your parents if you don't have that relationship. And, and this was one of those situations where, you know, Christina and, and May did not share enough uh, until it was too late. And, uh, and, and May is forced to kind of learn about her mother and death which I think happens a lot. You learn about a lot, about a lot about people after they're gone. Issa and I had worked together on her show and I'd gotten to know her and, you know, she's, you know, she's not Issa D, you know, like, and, and she has so much room to stretch and you can see that on her show. And, you know, I just loved working with her so much that I thought, you know, wow, like this would be such an unexpected role for her. Um, but something that I could totally see her, you know, bringing to life and, and making you love a kind of character that is a little cold and a little, you know, and is grieving uh, and bring a warmth to that. He's that actor that's so amazing because you never know what to expect or how he's going to play something. And, you know, this role could have come off as like the suave player, you know, and in that kind of stereotypical romantic film. And he brings such a complexity to the character um, and an honesty of, of men, you know, like, you know, that are, that want to be in love, but aren't ready for it, you know? And uh, I, I just think having him play the role, like it was, you couldn't just count Michael out, you know, as a playboy or, um, or anything like that. You know, he just had, he just brought so many layers to the character. The chemistry between them was so amazing. Shantae actually auditioned and I was familiar with her already. She was already kind of on my radar as a possibility um, uh, from her previous work. And she sent in a tape and it was just like, okay, that's it. Like, it was just so like, she was the like only person who really auditioned and brought such a duality of, a drive to, to like go after her dreams and a like courage to like move and, and um, fight for what she wanted, but also just this softness, you know, and, and vulnerability, you know, as, as young Christina and her and Alon together, you know, I, and I didn't read them together. You know, I'd worked with Alon before in my previous movie, The Weekend, and you know, he, he just has that, you know, he, he looks very hunky, but he has this very sensitive thing about him. And uh, I just had a feeling the two of them together would be, um, would really work. And when they got to set, it, it really did. I was just very conscious the whole way through, um, kind of how important it would be to the audience and, you know, what it could, you know, mean for an audience and, um, and, and, 
so that was a bit of, you know, a little bit of a weight on me of just feeling like I have to get this story right. Um, it has, you know, it, it, films aren't always perfect, but, you know, I have to make it feel authentic for, you know, the women that I'm telling the story about um, and the men and the mothers and the fathers. And, um, you know, that was something, uh, the, the importance of that definitely weighed on me throughout the process. The script really resonated with us because of the incredible love story told in two different time periods. It was very moving, uh, very different for what we've done in the past that were Packer Productions. We thought it was a great project to be involved in and to help Shepard and to help realize Stella's vision. So that's why we decided to be involved. Uh, it was just a great piece of material. What appealed to us to want to jump on and produce this was the fact that there hasn't been a lot of romances specifically made for the African-American audiences throughout the years. You know, it's been quite a while since Love Jones. It's been quite a while since Love and Basketball. They've just been too far and few between. So we felt, you know, we had a great piece of material. We had a great filmmaker and we wanted to advocate for this project. And we felt it was great for our core audience. So that's why we decided to get involved. I think everyone who sees this film is going to be able to relate to some portion, some, some little piece or moment regarding just how complicated family could be. Um, you know, all of our family members have passed and we all have a past. And sometimes that past comes back up, you know, things that were left unsaid when someone passes away, someone close to us, where we wish we would have maybe settled a few issues. Maybe there was a lack of closure, but it's always difficult, especially when a parent passes away and you start to think of how you grew up, things that you might have been able to do, do better. Um, so those things, I think, are relatable across all, all audiences. I mean, we have a phenomenal cast in, in, in this film. I mean, Stella, our casting director, Will and I, everyone really put together a great cast. It's, it's a phenomenal and formidable cast. And it all starts with Issa and Lakeith. And their chemistry has been amazing. You know, interacting with them has been a great pleasure. Uh, this is the first time I've ever worked with Lakeith. This is the second time I've worked with Issa. Obviously, she was in Little. But I've known Issa ever since her awkward black girl days. And I always thought she was a great talent, very funny warm person. I got to know her very early on and I always wanted to work with her someday. So I'm so glad that in less than a year, we're working together for the second time. She's a friend. She's a great talent and most importantly, a really good person. And getting to know Lakeith has been incredible, great experience. He, he's a very unique soul to say the least. And I love hanging out with him. So I, I think the cast respects each other. They have great chemistry together. And I feel that's why this movie will, will resonate with people because the relationships seem to be genuine on screen. And we have Ilan Noel, Shante Adams, Rob Morgan, Kelvin Harris Jr., Chelsea Peretti, you know, Jasmine Cephas Jones, Courtney B. Vance, uh, Kingsley Benadir, and the great Cheryl Lee Ralph. I mean, what an amazing cast. I was heavily influenced by Love and Basketball. That's why I started writing. You know, Sanaa Lathan, Nia Long, they were role models growing up. And I think uh, romance movies kind of went away in general um, because as movies got bigger and more um, more tent poly, I think that genre kind of fell by the wayside. And of course, um, black faces in general started disappearing from from film screens so i if film screens so i feel like this is just a resurgence in general and i'm happy to be a part of you know one of the few movies depicting black love because i just feel like that's gonna inspire another generation of people like me my character may uh has an estranged relationship uh, with her mother and kind of suffers from abandonment issues because her mother was so dedicated to her craft, to photography. And I think as a result, 
she hasn't been able to open up herself to love and doesn't truly understand why until she discovers her mother's letters and her mother's own journey with love. And it's just kind of commentary about how history informs your present. You can't escape your past. May is not looking for love right now. She's she turned down a proposal from, you know, her her ex-boyfriend and she is really just trying to, to focus on herself. And but Michael's the kind of guy who is charming, who feels earnest, who is is honest and will call you out and he's enticing and I think for May it's about letting herself lean in to him and that's a hard thing to do when you're scared of love when you don't know how things will end up i think if you're not willing to let yourself be vul be vulnerable uh, because you're scared of being hurt you you miss out on so much and i think may and michael both have to to navigate that and learn that um and that's just something that we all have to go through you have to it, it's it's a brave thing to decide to fall in love but keith is phenomenal i mean he is i learned so much from just watching him he's uh so fearless in a way and and that's so that's admirable to me because you know he's this is all fairly new to me and i know that it's new to him but he's done so much in in such a short time and he's so fun to watch. One of my favorite scenes to shoot was uh, with me, Lakeith, uh, Rel, and Tiana, and we were cracking up. Like the, the laughs on screen were genuine because Rel and Tiana were just improvising these stupid stories <laughs> about Lakeith slash Michael, and um, we were just going with it, but it was just so much fun to to be with people that you admire, that, you know, kill their own respective bodies of work and to be in the same room with them and just vibe off of each other was the best feeling. Seeing it for the first time made me feel like I was just wrapped in a blanket of everything that I, I've been longing to see for such a long time. And the movie does represent just love and beauty and there's there's a grace to it in the depiction of all of the characters i think the the moments that take place in the 80s in new orleans are just so beautifully specific beautifully shot and just so rich and i want to see that full movie i want to see you know uh christina and isaac's full love story and that journey and i and i know we get we get snippets, but there's just something so, like, I can't, it's it's just absolutely gorgeous the way that everything's depicted. And I think um, aesthetically, there's, it's unmatched. I would sum up the story, I'd say that it's about a woman who is learning how to love through the mistakes and experiences of her mother. What grabbed me was that I could relate to Christina a little bit. You know, she is a woman that's trying really hard not to become her mother, uh, but in turn, she creates a daughter who is also trying not to become her mother. Um, and I can attest to me <laughs> trying to do that. Uh, but right now I'm at a place where I'm accepting that I am becoming my mother. And that's actually a beautiful thing because <laughs> she's a really great woman. But um, learning that our parents are human, I think, is a really big theme in this movie. Um, and learning before it's too late. I absolutely loved working with Stella. Beyond the standpoint of how inspirational it is to just see a black woman behind the camera and directing me, um, she was just such an actor's director, which I think can be really hard to find in film and television. Um, she was just really focused on catering to our needs and making sure that we felt comfortable with the language and with the words. Um, and that's the beauty of having a writer and director. If there's something that I wanna say differently, you know, Stella was always open to collaboration um, and I just had the best time working with her.
he was just an, an amazing scene partner to work with, always making sure that I was comfortable and that I was good, as I would do for him. And um, that's just really important, I think. And not to mention the man's insanely talented. So <laughs> um, he made it easy. He made it easy to give a good performance, yeah. There's a little something for everybody in this movie, and I think that's what makes it so special. That fact that you can bring your mother because of the mother-daughter relationship, or two guys can go because it captures the essence and the friendship of brotherhood so well. Um, and of course, it's a movie for you and your boo too, um, at its core, but yeah, it's definitely a movie for everybody.